Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs and welcome to a weird video. I'm not entirely sure how to classify this, I think it's sort of like a discovery video I guess, and maybe a bit of a tutorial, but I'm not entirely sure what to categorize this as. Basically, I was playing around with some stuff in my creative testing world and I discovered something weird about Minecraft 1.14, and that is that you can zero tick pistons manually. Now you might be familiar with zero ticking pistons, folks like the Psycraft guys, Il Mango, and some of the other folks you might be familiar with out there have used this in cactus farms and chorus plant farms, and zero ticking basically allows you to power a piston for an infinitesimally small amount of time that affects plants weirdly. It will grow cactus instead of breaking it, it will grow chorus plants if you swap the uh, the end stone underneath the chorus plant, it will actually grow it instead of breaking it. And until recently, this had to be done via various complex redstone contraptions. But I've discovered that in 1.14, I'm in 1.14.1 right now, but it works in 1.14 as well, I did test it, you can zero tick pistons manually. And that is thanks to the fact that buttons and other redstone components like levers can now be placed on any face of a piston block. You can put it on the back, the front, the sides, basically anything. And if you put it on the front, it doesn't do anything. But if you put it on the it generates a very small pulse and that knocks the button off. Previously, pistons used to kind of glitch out and that's what would uh, cause the button to fly off, but they seem to be a little bit more reliable now, a little bit more solid, and you can do this repeatedly if you just have a couple of buttons in your inventory. Say I'm in survival mode, let me put myself in survival real quick. If you have two buttons, you can stand next to a piston and basically do that over and over again. Sometimes you might need a couple more buttons in your inventory just to make sure that it happens reliably enough, but every time you pick up the button, you can replace it on the side of the block. Let's build like a glass box around myself, going back into creative. Uh, you can build a, like, a, a box around yourself to make sure the buttons don't go anywhere else, and you can continually zero tick a piston like this. And of course I'm going to be getting loads and loads of buttons by doing this because I'm in creative mode now. But this actually allows you to zero tick cactus plant manually, because what you can do is place a sand block there, a cactus on top of it, and every time you use 16 buttons, every time the piston goes 16 times, much like with other zero tick farms, if we count, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, the cactus grows. And this is a reliable mechanic. As Il Mango has demonstrated in his video about zero tick cactus farms, it is possible to get this to happen reliably. But previously, you had to build a redstone contraption to do it. And the advantage of that, of course, is that it's tileable and you can create like a larger machine rather than just operating one piston at a time. But this is a very small and totally reliable way of making a manual zero tick cactus farm. So you could basically stand in this box, zero ticking this cactus all day long, having a fence gate the way you would normally have it set up. Where are the fence gates? In here, there we go. Having a fence gate on top of here so it would break the cactus as it grows. And then the usual kind of collection mechanism around here, water streams or a hopper or something like that to make sure that the cactus would fall out into a collection mechanism and go into a bone meal farm or a smelter to get XP or something like that. So if you're in the early stages of your Minecraft world and you've just got access to stuff like pistons and you've got yourself a cactus and you want to set up basically a cactus nano farm, this seems like a pretty effective way to do it. Obviously it's something you have to AFK at with like a clicker running or something like that, but literally all you need is two buttons so you can continue to swap them over like that. You might only need one button if you want it to be a little bit slower and you can have a cactus nano farm, which is <laughs> kind of a neat thing, and it wasn't possible at all before version 1.14. Now, as for the actual efficacy of this and like whether it's worthwhile, especially as you get later on into the game, I would argue probably not. You're probably a lot better off building something like Il Mango's, you know, cactus farm that's super, super efficient and does tons of cactus at a time, does it in an automated fashion. You can build it in your spawn chunks to generate XP for you in the background while you do something else, but I thought this was just worth sharing because I don't think it's really been possible to kind of manually operate a zero ticked piston before and now it is. So I figured I would put that out there into the world in case anybody more intelligent than me can do something fun with it. But for now, here's a concept for a neat little cactus nano farm that I think you guys will enjoy. That's really all I wanted to share from this video. Thank you so much for watching. My name's been Pixel Riffs. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.